All right, so we're just um, admitting a couple of persons so that we can get started. Those who are here with us, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Please drop in the chat where you are joining from so that we can give you a bit of a shout out. I am simply your moderator for this evening, just introducing our lead person. So you'll not be seeing my face for very long just to do the introduction. But for now, please drop in the chat where you are joining from. We'd love to hear from you. Please let us know where you are joining from. We'd love to hear from you. It's a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's a wonderful, wonderful event. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us this evening. All right, there we go. I'm seeing some life in the chat. Joining from St. Lucia. I love it. Joining from Guatemala. Welcome, welcome. From Guatemala, welcome. Thank you for being here. Great to have you joining us from Guatemala. It's a pleasure to have you with us this evening. All right, now without ado, I will begin this evening's proceedings. Okay, so good evening, everyone, and welcome to Digital Tools for Startups. My name is Michelle Samuel, and I am the organizer of this event. I am the founder of Sled Terror, and I will be your moderator for this evening. Though I am your moderator, you will not be seeing my face for very, very long. Because, of course, we have a dynamic woman that will be our host for this evening. And, of course, you will see her and hear from her very soon. Before we get started, however, I would just like to ask that everyone, please either turn on your cameras if you're not shy. But keep your mics muted for now. For now, because this is going to be a very interactive session. Now, I do expect that we'll be having some gentlemen as well as women joining us. So I'm looking to see a mix from various industries as well as countries. Wherever you are joining from, please put that in the chat so I can shout it out and shout it loud. St. Lucia in the house, Guatemala in the house, anybody from anywhere else? St. Lucia, St. Lucia, St. Lucia, sweet St. Lucia. I love that one. That rolled off the tongue. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to our first GEW event. Now, of course, as you know, it is only fair and right that you should understand what GEW is and of course, where it all started. So what I will do is share a video with you from the president of the Global Entrepreneurship Network. He can share a few remarks about GEW. The Entrepreneurship Network is the owner of GEW, which stands for Global Entrepreneurship Week. And for the past 16 years, Jen has celebrated entrepreneurs like us for the things that we do, the passion that we put into the work. And every year around this time, it's all about us. So please bear with me as I share this message from the president of Global Entrepreneurship Network. Please bear with me guys as I share this message. Of course, please let me know when you're able, drop in the chat, let me know if you're able to actually hear, and then I will go ahead and start the, the video, guys. Because of course, I want to ensure that everyone is able to see and hear. So when you're able to see and hear, please let me know. Drop that in the chat. This morning, you bite me. I I so, please remain muted, guys. Please remain muted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we have a message from our president, Mr. Jonathan Ottmans of the Global Entrepreneurship Network. Guys, if you're able to hear and see, please drop a message in the chat so I can know. When we launched Global Entrepreneurship Week 16... I'm pausing because I want a reaction. Can everybody hear? Yes. You see. Awesome. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Interaction. Okay, guys, let's go. 15 years ago, we set out with a mission to convince the rest of the world that Silicon Valley didn't have a monopoly on entrepreneurship. How far we've come in just a decade and a half. Our campaign theme this year is Entrepreneurs Thrive Here. We now have small communities, towns, cities, and nations shouting from the rooftops that entrepreneurship is alive and healthy and something that they support and encourage. This week, Global Entrepreneurship Week 2023, we expect to have over 40,000 events, reaching more than 10 million attendees, happening in almost every place on earth. This is really a testament to the success of this campaign over the years, that we now have a common global entrepreneurial ecosystem. This is very, very powerful. We have an ecosystem that is full of people united by the sheer force of our collective determination to fix the world in which we live. We're united by human capacity to transform our curiosity into uh, technologies that spread across the world and improve our own lives and those of our fellow citizens. So this week we will be celebrating this great spirit of entrepreneurship and we'll be celebrating what makes your community a home to those with big ideas and bubbling ambitions. We want to know from you what draws out the innovators, the creators, the risk takers and we'll be celebrating what makes them and your communities a good place to experiment and grow. You know, we're instilling what we hope is a sense of pride in entrepreneurial skills. We hope this week we will have a chance to have more confidence during troubling times that we can do more together and that we have more in common with each other than what divides us. Global Entrepreneurship Week um, is made possible through the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation still. We also have the support of uh, companies like Federal Express who are helping us to take this campaign into communities that have not had the confidence or the path or the understanding of how to join the great global entrepreneurial ecosystems that allow us to unleash our creative potential. I for one will be traveling around the world. Uh, I'll be uh, stopping in San Francisco where the United States is hosting the APEC Summit. We're heading to Open Global Entrepreneurship Week in China, and I'll be stopping in Singapore. Uh, I'll be in Johannesburg, South Africa, where we have our African headquarters, 22 on Sloan. And we'll be celebrating once again with one of our big champions, President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa. And I'll be ending in Europe. You know, this year, Europe is especially exciting. Not only do we have uh, an SME summit of policymakers in Spain, but there is also a web summit happening in Lisbon and big thanks to Startup Genome that will be hosting uh, an event for innovators on the sidelines of web summit in Lisbon. Before returning to the United States, I know there will be a lot of other things we'll be doing on the road. Uh, I know that uh, uh, DoorDash, for example, is providing disaster relief grants uh, to entrepreneurs all over the world uh, who are running local restaurants. We've got WeWork focused in the United Kingdom and in the United States doing events in their facilities. And some people that are just very focused on people from outside of their place of uh, entrepreneurship, like the 
uh, Hong Kong Science and Technology Park that will be hosting programs for entrepreneurs from around the world. You'll see many of Jen's programs out in full force this week. For example, our startup huddle chapters will be hosting activities in 20 cities. You'll see our Gen research teams releasing reports, uh, such as the report coming from uh, South America, where we will focus on um, what is uh, happening uh, in those markets. Uh, we will also see our media team. I know that we'll be doing, for example, a fireside chat with the editor-in-chief of uh, uh, Entrepreneur Magazine. Thank you, Jason. Um, and much, much more. But the most important voice will be your voice. So I hope you'll join on your favorite social media channel. Use the hashtag GEW2023 or Entrepreneurs Thrive Here and tell us what you think. And if you want more information, do you can Google uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week or go to gew.co.co and you can certainly find more information there. There are, uh, there are uh, uh, codes for you to uh, uh, be able to get access to um, what's happening in your part of the world. But also, um, there's also one thing I'd like you to do for me. Um, there is also an opportunity for you to participate in a survey. Tell us what you think of Global Entrepreneurship Week. How could we make it better? How could we build it into an even bigger movement, an even bigger force for good around uniting us as a uh, people around um, uh, what we do as entrepreneurs um, in uh, what, uh, rather than what divides us. And that's where I'd like to close my remarks, if I can. You know, I think it's especially important that we remember that we do have this powerful, common, global entrepreneurial ecosystem, uh, a community where that we have more in common with each other than what divides us, and a community which is extremely important at a time when many of our nations uh, are building distrust and maybe polarizing and separating from each other and becoming quite extreme in our differences. And I think entrepreneurship, and especially a global campaign like this, has an opportunity to remind us that actually we are about improving the lives of our fellow citizens, where we should be about creating things, we should be about sharing things, and that this is an opportunity for us to focus on one thing for which we all have in common, and that is the need for a healthy, safe, and stable life and economy. And I hope that you will join this movement, reach out to someone from a different place, and be part of what we hope is an important campaign uh, to the benefit of us all. Happy Global Entrepreneurship Week 2023. All right, guys, you heard it. Happy Entrepreneurship Week 2023. And I hope you paid attention to the things that he said, what it is all about. It's all about us, guys. It is all about us. And of course, starting with this very first event that we have, which we are excited to get the ball rolling on, is Digital Tools for Startups. And without further ado, I would just like to briefly let you know that you can, at some point, of course, join in the conversation with our host. She will be asking you to join her. So don't be shy. I'm asking in advance, don't be shy. We really want this to be interactive, guys. It's all about us because the information she's going to be sharing with you are things that you'll actually use and things that you actually need for your business. And we have a poll that we'll be sharing with you during the, during the session. So when this poll appears on your screen, it's just five you know, quick questions. Answer the questions quickly so that we can get your feedback on the digital tools. And then towards the ending of the session, we have two great opportunities. One is a survey that we have that we would love for you to fill out to get some feedback from you about the digital tools and about your business. So that Blue Media Marketing and any of her partners can actually assist you. And then of course, we do have an opportunity that Blue Media Marketing has available to each and every one of you to take part of and to take advantage of launching next year. So look out for it, stay tuned to the very end and you will understand what this opportunity is. So without further ado, I will now bow out and step aside 
so that our entrepreneur of the night can take her center stage. And I'm speaking of none other than Miss Shireen Joseph. Shireen. Hi, hi. hi. <laughs> and how hi. are you doing, Shireen? I am good. I'm nervous. I'll not be, I, I will not lie. I am nervous, but I'm good. I'm happy to okay, be it's here. Okay yeah, it's okay <laughs> so guys, if you thought that even, you know, experts don't get nervous, that, that's actually not true. Sometimes we get nervous too. We do. So we are real genuine people. We're keeping it real with you tonight, guys. Okay. So I'm leaving you in the capable hands of Ms. Joseph. Shireen, feel free to take it away. Bye, everybody. Bye, Michelle. Um, like I said, guys, good evening. My name is Shireen. I'm um, just going to open up my presentation in a while, and then we're going to get started. Um, but thank you guys for being here. I am so happy to see so many of you joining this session tonight. I hope many of you are able to learn a lot from the session and utilize these tools in your business. I'm excited about an unboxing. I actually have my package there from since last week. That I've been really excited to open. So we're going to do an, a live unboxing of some of the tools that I bought and some tools that I'm very excited about using in my business that you can purchase as well to use in your business. Like Michelle mentioned um, earlier, there will be a poll um, that will be posted sometimes during the session. Um, so you guys can answer some quick questions that we can use to assist you further um, when we are done with the session. Um, there was another thing I needed to see. Oh, feel free to ask questions all throughout. Um, if you're not sure about something, you want to know more about something, feel free to ask your questions. You can ask your questions in the chat. Um, and then I will be more than happy to assist. And so, yeah, let's get started. Um, oh, before I, we get started, big shout out to everybody from St. Lucia, from Barbados, from Guatemala. And everybody else, I, I if just drop your your country um name in the chat so we can know where you where you're listening from, where you're tuning in from. Thank you guys so much for being here. So yes, let's get started. Um, let me just pull up my presentation. Okay, before I pull up my presentation, I need to go into Zoom and try to. Um, like I said, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I've done this like a million times. Um, but you know. Sometimes you just get nervous. Um, Michelle, I need some help because I'm nervous. How do I share my screen again? <laughs> Not a problem. We're here for each other. So there's a little arrow at the bottom. It says share screen. And yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, there you what go. <laughs> we let's help each other, guys. That's what it's all about. Okay, so I, yeah. So let me share my screen so we can get started. Um, okay, so this box is kind of obstructing me here. So let me just drop it right here. Okay. So hold on. The menu. Okay, I can move. I can shift it around. Okay, great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. So before we dive into the digital tools, etc. Um. We are going to learn a little bit about Blue Media Marketing, what we offer. Um, so we're just going to play this. I'm just going to play this quick video so you can learn a little bit about us um, and what we do. Oh, before you start, um, Shireen, did you click on the box that says share audio when you shared? No. So okay, there's a so button that says, hold on. Yeah, so stop sharing. Um, yeah. There and then are again. popping up here. Hold on. So stop sharing and okay, click on share again. Oh yes, yeah, share sound. Okay. Right. There you go. Got it. Awesome. So let's welcome Yali from Nicaragua. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so can everybody see my screen? Can everybody? I'm trying to minimize this window that keeps popping up. Yes, we can see. Okay, awesome. wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to play this short video so you can learn a little bit more about this Blue Media Marketing, what we offer, and then we're going to get started. I'm the owner of Blue Media Marketing. Blue Media Marketing is a... 
Hi everyone, my name is Shireen Joseph. I am the owner of Blue Media Marketing. Blue Media Marketing is a social media marketing and consultancy business. Our core purpose is to assist startups and growing businesses to maximize their online presence by connecting them with a wider audience and helping them to reach their marketing goals. At Blue Media Marketing, we understand the challenges faced by small businesses, and so we provide specialized training and services to assist them in navigating the digital landscape. We provide services such as expert consultancy and training, ranging from mobile videography training to Canva training and Instagram for business training. We provide content creation, social media management, and setups. We do social media ebooks and templates. We also do product review and unboxing, product photography, and so much more. You can catch us on our social media at Blue Media Marketing 758 for all the details you need to know about our business. So this is just a little bit about us. Again, my name is Shireen. I am the owner of Blue Media Marketing. I am a social media consultant. I am an Instagram training expert. And of course, I do. Um, um, I am the founder of Blue Media Marketing. So I have a background of sales and marketing spanning over seven years, and I'm just super excited to share my expertise and knowledge with you guys tonight. Okay, so we're going to jump into it. We're going to learn about what digital tools are. So basically, digital tools are software and hardware applications that help you use digital technology to perform specific tasks that will assist you in being more productive in your business. Why are digital tools so important? They're very cost effective. Most of the tools that you actually will learn about tonight will allow your business to automate so many, several tasks that will help to lower your operational cost. Especially if you're just starting up your business, it's going to be a great, these tools are going to help you um, to do many tasks in one sitting so you wouldn't have to hire somebody in a hurry, okay? so. These tools also help with your scalability. It helps to provide flexibility for startups to grow quickly. So like I said, the automation of some of these applications will help you so you can scale your business. For example, you have a new idea and you want to put it into motion and it's only you running your business. Um, you can use some of these tools to help to grow your business faster. Of course, it increases your productivity because one, anything that's automated is, is it, it helps you to be able to do all the um to to um, focus on all the tasks while this application runs one aspect of your business. And for me, most of the times, I I was a sole person running my business, so I had to use a lot of these tools. I still do use them today um, to automate certain things in my business, so I can focus on the more important things. And of course, accessibility. As long as the apps are available, it's available twenty four seven. While you'd have to wait for your staff to be at work from nine to five, you can just access the, um, the apps from any time. When you get up in the middle of the night, you have an idea, you can just go into the app and schedule a post or do something, create a post and whatnot, and get it done without waiting for your staff um, to be able to do that for you. So these are, these are very crucial for, for, to increase productivity in your business and, of course, help your business to grow. Examples of digital tools, I know most of you, I, I mean, all of us use digital tools in our daily lives. We just probably don't see that as, you know, something really important. So some of those um, I'm going to mention, Slack. Slack is a great tool to help you with communicating, um, especially if you're working on a project and you have like several people involved in that project. Shout out to Michelle for introducing this application to me. It's been very, very vital in a lot of projects that we've worked on. Um, also, Zoom, the platform we're using right now, is a very great digital tool. Not only does it allow us to have this session right now, but it allows, um, there are some aspects of Zoom that allows um, AI to generate all of the scripting for your meetings so you don't have to sit and do all the minutes and all of these things. Um, of course, for social media, we have um, Hootsuite, which I'm going to talk about a little later on, and Meta Business Suite. Um, which I'm going to touch on a little later. And then we have the hardware aspect of it. So the digital tools does not only mean that it's online, but there are actually actual tangible tools that we can use for our business. Our cell phones that we use every single day are part of your digital tools. Your printers, your mics, your portable um, storage devices are part of your digital tools. 
So Blue Media Marketing, um, the tool that we use at Blue Media Marketing, it has helped us in three key areas. Like I mentioned earlier, it has helped to enhance our productivity. So we spend less time um, doing a lot of things and focus on the more important parts of our business. Um, it improves our content quality. For us as a marketing company, where one of our key um, services is creating content. Um, content um, quality is of utmost importance to us. So we have a set of tools that we use to improve every aspect of our content. And of course, the final one, I need to get rid of this, this bar here because I, I can't read the entire presentation with it looming around. See how I can make it smaller. Yes. And of course, it has given us a competitive edge. Of course, if we're more productive and we can focus on other stuff like um, like coming up with our strategies and doing different things, it will give us more of a competitive edge because we don't have to worry about certain things that are automated in our business. So um, this, 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 these are the things that these tools have helped us with our business and we want to share these tools with you. Now, most of the tools that I'm going to share with you guys, most of you already know about these tools, but there are a few that you're going to learn, a few new ones that you are going to learn about, and a few new things you're going to learn about um, some of these tools as well that you already use in your daily um, operations of your business. So we're going to start with social media management tools. So I'm just going to give you the names first, and then we're going to go into the of these tools. So the first one is Meta Business Suite. We all know about Meta Business Suite. That's an application um, um, made by Facebook to help with managing your business, but we're going to go into that a little, a little deeper. Good Suite and HubSpot. So like I mentioned earlier, Meta Business Suite. Meta Business Suite has been one of the most pivotal applications for our business. We have used this application from day one, and every everybody in on this um in this session who has had contact with us knows that we always um ask people to use this application to automate their social media posting, mainly for Facebook and Instagram. So it basically is a management portal for Facebook and Instagram accounts. So it's very simple. All you have to do is just link your Facebook and your Instagram pages and you're good to go. Once this happens, you literally can use this one application to manage both of these applications in one place. So you can create and schedule your posts, your stories, your ads across both Facebook and Instagram simultaneously using that application. You can also, also manage all of your posts. You can watch all of your published posts. You can schedule your posts, like I said, and all of that. You can create drafts of your posts and post them later. You can check your insights. So it gives you all of your numbers, all your Instagram insights, all your Facebook insights. You can check your performance of your, um, your posts, your performance of your overall page, your follower count, your um, reach, your everything that has to do with your Facebook and Instagram pages, you have access to it. And what happens is, um, what's the, the cool thing about this app is the fact that if you're like me and you manage several social media pages, it's easy for you to switch between these pages seamlessly. So you don't have to sign out and sign back in and whatever. All you have to do is just click and then it switches to a different um, page for you or a, a totally different account for you. So you don't have to be signing in and signing out and doing all of this um, tireless thing, okay? And of course you can communicate with your, your, um, your customers on the go. So what happens is this application integrates both your Instagram and your Facebook messages in one place. So what you do is you just go and respond to your messages. Um, you don't have to go open the Instagram app and then respond to a message and then go back and open Facebook. So in this app, you just in one place, you open your messages, you respond and whatnot. It's very, very easy to use and it's totally free. It's free, it's free, it's free. You can run your ads. You can do anything you like when it comes to your Facebook and Instagram pages in one place. This will help with your productivity. It will cut down the time of having to post content every day. So you literally can just use the calendar and schedule your posts. It will cut down the amount of time going back and forth from apps 
to be able to create your um to post stuff it will uh, and again you can um also engage with your followers via this app as well so instead of going to instagram and engaging separately and you're on facebook and you're engaged and you're engaging separately you can do everything in this one application so meta business suite is definitely an application if you're not already using it I definitely recommend that you use it. And the best thing about it, like I said, it's absolutely free. So you have nothing to pay for except in the ads <laughs> when you're ready to run your ads, okay? So this is an absolute must-have for every single business owner who, is, who owns a Facebook and Instagram page. And of course, if you're not sure on, about how to link your pages, you can just reach out to Blue Media Marketing and we will assist you with that in a separate um, session, yeah? Okay, so let's talk about Hootsuite. Hootsuite is one of my is one of the next favorite applications that I love using for social media management. Unlike Meta Business Suite, Hootsuite allows you to manage more applications, more social media applications in one place. So unlike um, Hoots, um Business Suite that allows you to just integrate Facebook and Instagram. Hootsuite allows you to be able to manage your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, your YouTube, everything in one place. And what it does is it, allow you to, it allows you to have um, these columns. So what you can do, you can break down your social media pages or your social media accounts into columns. So one column would be for your messaging. One column would be for your mentions. So somebody mentioned you or they tag you in something, you'll have a column for that to see all of your tags. You have a column to see all of your messages. You have a column to see all of your um your feeds. And you can just break it down into your different social media channels. So um, in this application, you would be able to just um how you call it, scroll left or right to check out your different um social media channels. So you'd be signed into every single social media channel at once. You will get your notifications. You will get all of that. Now, the great thing about this application is it has something called a planner. So this is the screenshot of how the planner would look. So what you can do for those who do who are um who always do content planning, this is an application that will help a lot with your content planning. And I recommend that every single business owner who's producing content for their business need to have a content plan. So this application allows you to just create your entire content plan in the application so what happens is if you have to post something you send you a reminder you will have you will get the reminders on what you need to post when you need to post it all of that so that is what the planner is there for and you can use different colors for different types of content etc okay so the next thing you can do it also shows you your analytics for all of your social media platforms you can post directly from the app to your social media platforms um, and all of that. Um, another great thing is if you have a team, you can all you can all you you can add your team to the Hootsuite platform. So without giving them the password for your thing. So you can add them in and they can create their own profile and their profile will be added onto the application. So you never have to share your your um, your password with anybody. You can just add them as a, a team member and they will if the, the app will prompt them to create a, their own profile and they will have access to certain things that you want them to have access. So that is one of the great things about this application. Um, unfortunately, it is not free. I mean, an application with that kind of complexity would never be free, um, but it is worth every single penny um, because it has helped so much with side projects that I've done um, with different companies. Uh, it has helped to just optimize everything for me. And so I am on top of my game. I know what's happening with every single social media channel. I know how to respond to whatever, when I can respond. I can see messages in real time. I can see posts in real time. Everything happens right there before me. So that is why I, and then you can run ads, like I said, just like it has everything that Meta Business Suite has but more, I would say that. It has everything that Meta Business Suite has, but more. And what I love is the content integration part of it. So you literally can create your content plan and do all of that. So instead of having a separate document with your content plan, you literally can just import your content plan into 
food sweets, and then automate your stuff. Okay, anybody has any questions before we move forward? Guess not. I had a question. Yeah, go ahead. How much, how much approximately, how much does it cost to have um, food sweets? Yes, so there are different plans. I think the cheapest plan is about 25 US or 30 US thereabouts. Um, but don't quote me. <laughs> don't quote me. Um, you can always head over to Google and, and verify. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's about 25 or 30. The basic plan allows you to have like a limited amount of social media pages. And then as you as you pay more, of course, you get to add more social media pages to that. To that plan. So here's another cool application, HubSpot. Now I will say that I do not actually use the the system, right? But I do use their resources and their services. So HubSpot is a customer relations management tool, unlike Hootsuite, which is like a um, social media management tool. HubSpot allows you to manage your customer and your customers, your sales activities and all of that. So before I go to the, part, the, the, the exciting part about this um, application, let's just talk about the interface. So basically, HubSpot allows you to um, bring in all of your customer information, right? It allows you to be able to sort out different things when it comes to your customers. So if you have a meeting with your customer, you can set it up there. You can chat with your customer via the, the application. You can um, create different um, reminders and updates on different customers. So for example, if you have this customer you've been talking to and you have to close a, a deal with them, every time you make contact with this customer, you can include um, updates into um, HubSpot. So you have everything related, all the information relating to your customers, their email address, their phone numbers, all of that, these things you have to enter in. And basically you keep a log. It's like keeping a log of what's happening with your customers. So it helps you with your sales, your service, your operations, your marketing. It's an all-in-one platform. And again, it has your analytics and stuff so you can see exactly what's happening with your business. So it helps you to manage most of the operations of your business in one place. Okay. Um, so that is what this, this um, application is about. Now, what I love about HubSpot is not only do they, because the, the entire system, obviously you have to pay for it. It's not free, but they offer a lot of free resources for entrepreneurs. So they offer eBooks, um, courses, marketing courses and all of that for entrepreneurs. So let me just click in here. Um, so this will take me to the web page so I can show you guys what. So there's um, they have something called the HubSpot Academy. So the HubSpot Academy basically is absolutely free. You can get access to everything marketing. So they have marketing courses and everything. They have templates, they have eBooks, they have everything available for um, business owners. So what I do is I use their platform to learn because everything is free. So you can select any category, any content type that you want, marketing, sales, service, whatever you want, whatever you're interested in, web development, da, da, da. And then they offer courses based on these things. So you can get your certificate from HubSpot for doing the courses and they're absolutely free. So you just go through them, you see which ones you're interested in and whatnot. So even if you don't buy the, the customer relations management system, you can get a lot of, out of this, um, this, this company. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, there's a lot of free stuff that you can get access to and stuff. Just go onto the HubSpot. Um, just go onto the HubSpot um, website. You can get access to the ebooks and everything. Everything is absolutely free. So make sure you check that out because that, that is a lot of free resources that you can use to improve your business. Any questions? All right. So we're going to move to 
content creation, which is my favorite part because I mean that's I love creating content. So we're going to talk about CapCut. CapCut has a lot of new updates and stuff. A lot of you know maybe may know about CapCut by now. Um, we're going to talk about Remove BG, which is a new application I stumbled upon while I was doing creating some content. And of course, Chat GPT. Chat GPT. GPT has been something that's popular and stuff, but a lot of people still don't know how to use it properly or effectively to be able to um, kind of like pivot and optimize the um, content creation. Yeah, so let's jump into that. So CapCut is, a, in a nutshell, it's an all-in-one video editor. But not only is it just a video editor, they recently had an update and now you can edit your photos in CapCut, Cap right? So you can edit and you can just, so you, basically you can come into this app, you can edit your videos and your photos. However, even if they added the photo editing part to this application, um, I think they need to do a lot of work. It does not, um, it does not meet the standards of Photoshop for mobile. And if you, so that's a bonus app I'm telling you about right now. Photoshop for mobile is available. It is absolutely free. You can do some, some amazing editing on this app. Um, so you can check that out because I know Photoshop for desktop, you have to pay for it and stuff, but they have a mobile version that is absolutely free. And it's amazing for photo editing. It's just like the, 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 um, the desktop app. The only difference is it's simpler but it has all of the great features of, of Photoshop on desktop. So back to CapCut. This application has done so many wonderful, wonderful things for me. First of all, I am not a desktop person. I will be at my computer um, only when I'm writing, mostly. But I do all of my video editing on my cell phone. And that is why I love CapCut. Because CapCut allows me to edit every single part of my videos um, add seekers, transitions, use templates for my videos, um, allows me to remove backgrounds of videos, allows me to enhance my features in my videos. So if I have pimples on my face, I can smooth out my video. If my teeth looking a little yellow, I can make it whiter. <laughs> um, so it allows me to do a whole bunch of stuff um, while keeping the quality and enhancing the quality of my videos. I can add autom automatic captions to my videos. So instead of typing all the captions and stuff, I don't need to do that. I can just um, add an automatic caption and edit that caption to make it more, make it pop a little. So if any of you here have seen videos from me, you'd see I have this text that is pop up and I have pieces of content that is that is pop up on my videos. I do all these things in CapCut. And the most amazing part about this, um, this application is it allows you to export your videos up to 4K 60 frames per second. So that is like very, very, very great smooth video quality which talking about. You can also if you if your video um if your video has let's say um you, you shot the video, it's overexposed. You can color grade your video. Um, if the video colors look dull, you can use the, the, the color grading feature to color grade. Let's say you have a video and you want to um, you want to have somebody talk, the first half of your video, somebody talking, and the next half of the video, you want to show something else moving. You can do that as well. The possibilities are endless with CapCut. And if you just take five minutes out of your day to learn like at least two features in this app, your content creation efforts are going to be amazing. I I literally um, edit every single piece of content that is on my page right now in CapCut, every single piece. And every day I'm learning new um, tricks, new um, how to use different um, you know tools on this app. So this app is just simply amazing. And I would recommend that anybody who does content for their business to download this app. And it's absolutely free. Yeah? Like 95% of the features that you get on this app are free. And these are the features that you absolutely need to make your videos look amazing. So definitely download this app. That's all I can say. 
Anybody have any questions? Yes, I do. Do you Wait, offer yes. a class on that? Say again? Do you offer any classes to show how to use this app? Okay, so yes, we do offer our mobile videography class. And so this class covers everything from shooting um, content with your mobile phone and learning about the um, content editing app, which is CapCut. So you would learn how to shoot your videos properly using your mobile phone and edit your videos using CapCut. So you will get step-by-step, step step, um, let me see, instructions or knowledge about uh, how you can use CapCut to edit your videos from the raw video into something that looks really amazing. So we do offer that. Any more questions? So if you're interested in getting the, the mobile videography training, you can also always reach out to me um, privately. I will be providing my contact information at the end of this um, presentation and you can just reach out to me and we can um, schedule. So the next app is Remove BG. Now that's just so straightforward, remove background, remove a background image. That's basically what this app, well, it's not an app per se, it's a website. But let me tell you guys, we're not talking about no um, mediocre background removal website. We actually are talking about like a really amazing background background remover. So I usually create, <laughs> I usually create flyers for my business. And what happens to me is I have um Freeness Cap um Canva. Now you guys know that if you're using Freeness Canva. <laughs> then you cannot remove the background of the images. And even if you're paying for Canva, the background of the images are not this. Canva has been doing all kinds of things. But anyway, so I was trying to figure out how am I going to remove the background of some of the things that I needed to use for my, my flyers. Now, the amazing thing about this um, website is it uses like AI to remove backgrounds of the, um, of the photos. And um, it doesn't matter if you have a photo with a noisy background with endless in the background <laughs> for my Lucian people, um, it literally will get rid of that for you and just focus on the subject um, in that particular um, photo. So let me show you guys an example of something I create. I I, I uh, created with using the background. So this is a, a fly I did for a client earlier. So if you realize how nice and crisp all of these images are, there are no extra stuff in the in the corners and whatnot. So it 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 removes it and makes your your um subject looks nice and clean. You would never know I just used an automatic AI tool to remove the background of that. You'd think I spent how many hours in Photoshop trying to remove the background <laughs> of these images. So um this is a very, very useful tool for anybody who does a lot of um graphic designing and they do a lot of um, image background remo removal. And even if you don't do graphics designing um, and you just have your logo and you want to remove the background of your logo, you can just pop it into this application. And um, let me show you guys how it works. I think I have it open here. Yeah, right here, right here. So all you have to do is just go on the website. Let me see something I haven't used. We're going to use something for a... Uh, uh, Okay, let's try to use this with a, a noisy background. Just drop it into that and boom, within minutes, your background has been removed. If you realize, guys, the background of this image was like a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. And we're now reduced to just the bowl with the spoon. That's what we wanted. So it basically um, narrows down on the subject and removes every single other thing in the background seamlessly. So if you realize there are no pieces of, of the background anywhere on this except in the you know the little crevice of the spoon. So we'll we'll allow that because apart from that, this is seamless. Um, so this is a tool that I recently started using and I am in love. So if you want to um use it for any purpose, you you let's say you take a photo and you don't like to, the stuff in the background, you want to change your background, this is the application that you need to use remove.bg
Any questions? Um, I have a question. Go ahead. How is only now I hearing about that? How is meal? You know, many times I pay can for a dollar. Sharing I beat you anyway. Okay, that's all I have to say. I, I had to pay Canva many times myself, but it was just a whole bunch of research. I I I I when I, I run my business, I focus on two things. Um, how to make life easier and how to be more productive. So I always try two things I struggle, I used to struggle with try um removing um backgrounds from images. And um another thing is um getting um uh how you say that audio i'm um, transferring audio um to text right and i've gotten some pretty cool um websites and you know applications to help me with these things so you know but that one was just recent i have i've had it for about a week or uh, almost two weeks now that i'm using it and it's been really amazing um so make sure you, you grab your pen and pencil and, and write that down really quickly because this is like a lifesaver and it's absolutely free, eh? Absolutely free. You see, one hundred percent free. So we don't have to pay for it, which is amazing. All right. So let's talk about Chat GPT. Of course, a lot of us know that Chat GPT is a free AI. Well, partially free because the free part is the free part. Then you have to pay for the graded version, and they have upgraded twice already. Um. So, and we know the free part, the free one, you have to, sometimes it, it, um, there's a lot of traffic and stuff, you know, things get delayed. But hey, we're still thankful for Chat GPT because it has, it has been great for me when it comes to captioning, creating my marketing plan, my, my, um, my business plan and all of that. So it helps you to automate tasks and do all of these things. But in order for you to use chat GPT effectively, you have to know what prompts to give the application. You cannot just go on chat GPT and say, hey, give me that. And then they will, it will just, well, it will give you something, but it will give you something generic. Now, the thing about chat GPT is the fact that this AI tool works by taking different pieces of information from the internet to create one piece of information for you. So if you just go into the application and you tell it to um, write me a business plan, it will take all pieces of business plan information that's available on the internet and put it into one thing for you and give you something generic, right? And you don't want that because you don't want to be a victim of, you know, you don't want to plagiarize the people's things. So you have to make the application work for you, but in the right way. So one of the main things that I do is I um, I'm a writer. I'm a journalist, um, so I do a lot of um, drafting of my work. So when it comes to my marketing, let's say if I need a caption for a particular client um, post or whatever, I draft out certain things that I want um, chat GBT to help me with, right? So let's go into our, our um, prompts, right? You have to, you have to provide, um, how you say that? You have to provide your own information to the application for it to be able to give you something that is authentic. So um, what I do is I draft all of my information first. So I will tell, for example, I will put into chat, um, chat GPT, craft a one month social media campaign calendar for a product. So I, I will describe the product. So this product is from X business. So let's say a skincare business, let's say, um, let me use blue, blue organics, yeah? So I will tell them, I will tell the application that I would like a content calendar for blue, um, blue organics. Blue organics is a, um, a skincare business specializing in XYZ and whatnot. And they have this product. This product does XYZ, right? So I want you to craft a one-month social media campaign calendar for this product from blue organics, which does XYZ with the goal of doing xyz because you have to tell the application exactly what you want it to do for you but you have to provide that information to the application in order for it to generate something that is specific to your business so and then you can give it the exact channels you want to share this information to same way if i said i want to write a short instagram caption for a photo 
of um, whatever. I have to give ChatGPT the exact information. So I want an Instagram caption, yes, but I will not just type it into the application and say, I want an Instagram caption. I need to tell it that I want an Instagram caption for a product that does X, Y, Z. The product name is X, Y, Z from whichever company X, Y. And I have to give it all of the information that it needs. And what it does, it uses that information and drafts up something that is specific to whatever you're doing. Now, um, so we have some prompts here um, for chat T. And I would like somebody who's on this in this session right now to, if you have ChatGPT, if you have an account with ChatGPT, I want you to share your screen with us and we're gonna, we're gonna go over some prompts. You're going to enter some prompts into the application um, so the rest of us can see how this works, exactly how this works. So anybody so, wants to volunteer? So by a raise of hands, raise your hand if you would like to volunteer. It means that you're gonna come on screen and on camera with Shireen and you'll be sharing your screen. Who wants to volunteer by a raise of hands? Just one volunteer we need. Don't be shy, you learn how to use the application one time. <laughs> Do I have any raised hands in the house? Nobody. Wow. <laughs> They're shy. Nobody wants to, to try out chat GPT using the prompts that Shireen is going to show you. Nobody. Oh, my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Looks like I'll have to pick somebody. Hmm. Let's see who I'm going to pick. Um, and then, okay. People are running because I said I'm going to pick. <laughs> really? That's what's happening here. People are running. Oh, question, question. Yes, wait. Um, is it possible for them to use it on a mobile device? I think that's a question I should ask because some person. Oh yes, yeah. yes. There, you you can use ChatGPT on your mobile. So there is an application, but you can only do uh up to two or three commands on this application, and you have to pay to use it but you can use it on your browser because what i do is i just save it as a bookmark on my browser and when i'm on my cell phone i just open the um the, the web page and it works just as seamlessly as on your desktop so you can use it on your your um your web browser on your cell phone as well and it's it, it's it's fast it's easy to use it allows you to uh, oh Good thing I, I mentioned that. So it allows, so for example, if you um you put in a prompt and whatever and it gives you a response and you don't like the response or you don't think that it's good enough, you can also you can always regenerate another response. Um so you can generate as many responses as you want until chat GPT, GPT gives you um the response that you actually want. You can tweak your um your prompts as well to reflect certain things that you want. The, the thing about this application is you have to be as specific as possible in order for it to give you what you want. So if you enter something, you realize it gives you something generic, that means you have not entered enough information in order for the application to give you exactly what you want. So nobody's volunteering. <laughs> Okay, I guess I should just enter my own prompt in chat GPT so you guys can see how it is. Now, I didn't want to do the hard work for you guys. I wanted somebody to do the hard work, but nobody wants to volunteer. Michelle, should you pick somebody? Um, I think you can go ahead and, and demonstrate on your, on your end since it's already... Um, oh, Cynthia says <laughs> she wants to volunteer. Okay. Um, um, do you have a... Um, yeah, you Cynthia, can let me know when you are ready and I will put you up on the screen. Um, okay, so Cynthia is volunteering. Cynthia, let's give Cynthia a round of applause. Good job. Very brave of yes. you. Yes, we have a volunteer. Awesome. Okay, so as soon as she's ready, I'm going to bring her on the screen. Should I stop sharing my screen? Yeah, you can stop sharing for now. Okay. 
Okay, Cynthia, as soon as you're ready, you can just unmute and let me know that you're ready so I can put you on the screen. In the meantime, guys, if you have any questions about anything that Shireen has shared so far, please place your questions in the chat if you don't want to unmute, although we prefer you to unmute and ask your question. So someone says, I use chat open AI, which has no limit. So chat open AI is actually chat GPT. So that's just how the 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 web, the web, um, I say that the web link is chat open AI, but it actually is chat GPT. That's what it is. So you have a limit here. You can do unlimited prompts. It's free. But there is an upgrade um, to that AI platform that you have to pay for. So with the upgrade, you more you get more accurate um, information from the tool. Okay, Cynthia, yes, are you ready? Oh yes, Bing Chat GPC is actually great as well. Bing has integrated the AI tool into their browsing, and this has been a game changer. Sadly, a lot of people don't use Bing. We all use uh, most of us use Chrome. And I'm seeing that Google is just starting to integrate um, these subtle things into their um, their web browser. Um, but yeah, Bing is amazing. Oh, somebody said something there. We chat, we chat got until we eliminated the fear. What's now? We've tried GBT and to eliminate the fear of thinking what is produced is plagiarism. Is it important to create your persona profile, which is available in chat GBT? You identify your yes. So it, it is important to, to create your own persona in the application. So what happens is you, you, you will limit the amount of plagiarism that happens when it generates um, content for you. Um, so you you identify the unique things about yourself, your business, etc. Um, yes, so you can do that. You can um, filter it out to decrease the amount of plagiarism that that um, that happens when you you generate information from the the, the tool. Okay. Perhaps what you need a company. Yes, you need a website. Yes, you need a company website for you to for you to access hubs for. That's one thing I I missed out on. Yes, you do. So if you have your own website, you can use HubSpot. Sadly, you have to have a website to use this application. But by all means, take take advantage of the free stuff that they're offering. <laughs> I'm just going through the chat so me to just respond while Michelle takes care of. Well, Cynthia is there with you. She's been. Oh, Oh, I'm not seeing her. I'm not seeing her screen. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, she's pinned on camera with you. Yeah, I'm on. Do you want me to okay. share my screen? Yeah, so share your screen so we can see your your um your chat GPT. Okay. I have a bit of background noise. Sorry. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, let me log in. So Cynthia, do you do you have a business? What is the name of your business? The name of my business is Virtue in Nature. What do you sell? I run workshops for children on brain health good mental health practices. Okay, so can you give me one of can you name one of your services, one of your workshops that you that you ran? Okay, I haven't started this yet. I'm still in the process of putting things together. Okay, so you're in the process. Okay. Um, so let's talk, let's try to see if we can generate some information so you can start your process. Yeah. Um, let's do an outline for your workshop, for one of your workshops. So, um, do you have a name for any of your, like, I, do you have any, um, a solid name, 
or some information that you know you what you want your well we you know we know what your business is about so let's try to generate um an outline for one of your workshops so tell the application that you'd like to generate um uh, an outline for your workshop give the name of the workshop what it's about mm -hmm. um but we'll, we need to specify what outline we want. Um, okay, I'm I'm better with content, so let's do content. So we want let's let's do a video script. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about we're going to ask ChatGPT to give us a video script to advertise um, the workshop. So you give us a specific name of the workshop. So you type in the specific name of the workshop and what it's about. So we ask it for a short video script and give the information about your workshop. Let's see what it generates. Okay. Oh, you're missing the word script after the word video. Okay, how is that? I have a whole thing block in there. I can't see. Okay, okay, now I see. Okay, so generate a video script to advertise the Unleashed Stress Busters workshop for kids focusing on coping skills. That's too broad. So what, what exactly is the, your unique value proposition for this? Um, what makes you stand out? What, what about your workshop is unique to you? What, what, apart from, okay, you teach kids coping skills, right? But mm -hmm. what about the coping skills that you teach them? <laughs> what makes your, your workshop unique? Okay. How do, um... One of the things that makes my workshop unique is that I involve nature. So, so let me, let's um, include that. Include that. Um, focus on coping skills. That include that that includes nature. Um, nature and outdoor activities and other outdoor activities. Yes, yes. Let's let's um include that. Okay, so we're going, we will go with this. So let's see what it says. Okay. So basically, what ChatGPT will do is give you scenarios that you can use for your video. So if in the first scenario, it will tell you, um, go down, like it will give you the script, like the facilitator will say, hey, there are parents, because you're talking about kids. So you have to try to make it sound like, appeal to parents so they can sign up their children and um, it will give you different prompts like um, transitions transitions for a specific scene the exact words you um you can tweak it to your liking um you know so it will tell you how to basically edit the video while you're creating it okay. so if you realize after the sec the, the first facilitator line well the second facilitator line we're seeing here you'll see cut to quick montage of stressed out kids so it's basically telling you to have a, a cutaway mm -hmm. in your video showing kids that are stressed out, et cetera, et cetera, to appeal to the emotions of your um your target audience. Right. Right. And then it will give you another piece of, of the script again and it will tell you transition to a serene nature scene with what a nice music, whatever music, mean music. Right. So basically it's telling you how to edit the entire video mm -hmm. with a script. Okay. That's great. Exactly. So the more information you give it, the better it is for you. So it basically can give you an entire script mm -hmm. so you can shoot your videos. And you have different options because if you click on regenerate in the bottom right, mm -hmm. it will regenerate something else for you. Mm -hmm. Soft, uplifting music. Kids happy playing in the park. So it will regenerate another script with different um, a different um, type of editing for you. Right. So you can know what exactly you can have a, a general idea of how to put your video together. Mm -hmm. So great. that's yeah. So that's basically how it works. And mm -hmm. the like I said, the more specific that your prompts are, the mm -hmm. better it is for you. So try your best to be as specific as possible, and the application will work wonders for you. Okay, great, fantastic. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So you can stop sharing your screen now. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much for volunteering. We're going to send you back to the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Yes. So somebody said, do you do websites? So we're going to be, I'm going to give you guys a bonus application in a while, a bonus site that you can go to create your website. So just give me one second. Let me just set you guys up now with that. Um, yeah. All right. So let me share my screen so we can go to our bonus application. All right. So here's a bonus application. And anybody who has come in contact with Blue Media Marketing know about, well, we host our website on Payhe. So if you want a website for your business and you do not want to pay the hefty monthly fee, and you want to do all of the the great the the the, the great things the e-commerce the marketing the everything the, the great setup the 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 many templates and everything payheap.com is going to be your best friend so again while doing research because i wanted to host my website on a platform where i don't have to pay hefty fees but at the same time i wanted something really amazing for my business i stumbled upon payheap what this application, what this website hosting platform allows you to do is host your entire business on their platform. You can um, accept online payments, PayPal, and credit or debit card payments. You have access to all sorts of marketing tools from affiliate marketing to um, discount to um, how do you call that? How do you call that? Um, the marketing where you you um the website shows you one product and then it suggests another product if you buy that product or it suggests um if you buy two products or more you get a discount or if you buy this product you can bundle this other product it allows you to um it gives you basically uh, many options to sell your product so not only the, does it allow you to just host your website but it gives you all of the tools absolutely free that you can use to upsell every single product that you have on your website. So, and you can ship your product. You, so you have the option to set up your shipping for your product. You have the option to set up your email marketing. You have the option to set up your, um, your scheduling. So if you're like me and you do consultations, you, you do um, you, your business involves bookings and stuff. You can set all of that up using this web hosting platform. And the good thing about it is you don't pay you. Okay, let, let me not say you don't pay. Let me let me rephrase that. The good thing about it is you pay 5% of your earnings on a monthly basis to the, the web hosting platform. Um, so if you make money, you pay 5%. If you don't make money, then you, you just have the platform, they will not charge you if you're not making money on, on the platform, okay? So they only charge you when you make money. They charge you 5% of the amount, the total amount of money that you make every month. Now, 5% sounds like a lot, but for everything that they're giving you, let's say probably you don't make any money for the month, at least you're marketing your business and doing everything. Let's say you're not using, um, you're not accepting payments on the platform, but you're using the platform to market all of your stuff. You keep your money, but the platform still has your stuff and you're not paying the platform, eh? But what I'm saying is this platform has been a game changer for me. Now, what can you sell on this platform? You can sell um, tangible products. You can sell consultations. You can sell um, courses. You can sell um, like almost anything on this platform. There is no limit to what you can sell. You can set, there are beautiful templates. You can set up your templates. You have access to your analytics in the background. Um, you can integrate so many things. You can integrate your um, your payment stuff, your, your um, PayPal into the platform. You can integrate your, um, what's the email platform again? Um, MailChimp, if you have MailChimp and you use it to do all of your email marketing, you can integrate that into the platform. And the great thing is you can collect all your customer information and it's stored in the back end of your, um, of your website. So what happens if you want to do any email marketing, 
you can just literally send out an email from the back end. Someone has a question. Go ahead, Yali. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much for this training. I found very useful the information that you share. And well, I'm a lawyer and I am interested in sharing and selling actually uh, online courses. But uh, I don't know if, if it's possible doing it uh, here in Payhead. What would you like to sell? Your services, right? And no, I have a video course about migration in Central America because I am uh, I am located in Nicaragua, Managua, Nicaragua, mm -hmm. but there is a high rate of migration and people are unaware of what they are going to face if they travel to the United States under irregular circumstances. So mm -hmm. basically, I, ju I just have all the information. I have the recordings and everything, but I just want to sell this this uh, this course it's like it, it will take like eight hours mm -hmm. and okay. well that's it and then well i have i i will i would like to sell it or or do like uh online classes like like a uh, for four session of two hours and that's what i am looking for to sell so yes you can set up your entire course if you have your pre-recorded videos, even better. So you can set up your, your, your entire course in PayHeap as well. There is an option for that. Um, so if you have your pre-recorded or you want to do your lives, you can um you can do that as well. Um, well, they don't the, the application doesn't allow you to do live, but people can schedule, you can link your calendly. If you have a calendly account, you can leave your link your calendly to it and have your outside um have people schedule different days and times with you and you can do your your live recordings outside of the website but if you have your pre-recorded videos and you want to create an entire course and just set it up for persons to just pay for it and learn at their own pace you can do that in pay heap you can do it you can set it up and do everything you can create your own blog your with videos and whatnot the possibilities are endless for this platform. And that's why I wanted to give it to you as a bonus because I know a lot of you in here are looking to um, get your website set up for your e-commerce and do all of these great things. And you're not sure what you should do because you're thinking of WordPress, but the hefty fees of maintaining WordPress and whatnot. Let me tell you all, I only update information. Um, I only update my information. I just pop into my back end and I just update the information. It takes me less than five minutes to do that. Okay. Um, also, if you have ebooks or you sell templates, you do all of these things, you literally can sell these things on paper as well. Because I do have um I do have, let me see where is my pay heap. This is it. I do have everything set up on my pay heap as well. So people can just pay and download. They don't have to come to me. They don't have to call me, message me, whatever. Everything is integrated into the website. All you have to do is go onto the website, click on whatever you want, pay your money, you get your download, and you go about your business. And I get my money. That's how it is. How it works. So you have all. All you have to do is just set up. The setup takes some time, of course. It's almost like building a website from scratch. But once you have it set up, maintaining it is super super easy. So you literally can just go in the back end and just make changes. If you only change what the, your um the photo you use for your your front end, you want to change the price. It's super super easy. Also, you can give people coupon discounts and stuff. Let's say you want to have a sale on your website, you go in your back end and you just put your discount and you have your your discount code. You share it with your social media people and whatnot, and boom. They, they enter the discount code where, while they're checking out, they get the discount, they download whatever they need to download or they access whatever they need to access, they go about their business. It's almost like a, a Coursera. If, you, if you've if you used Coursera before, you see how easy it is to use Coursera. That's how easy it is to use this page. Like, Yali, you have another question? Go ahead. Yes, and so you said, you said about the, I mean, 
I upload the course and then I create a content and everything. And then they are going to deduct the, the fee for using the website. That's correct. And then I will get my money. Yeah, once somebody pays for it, um, so they don't deduct the money right away. They, they, they do the deductions at the end of the month. So once somebody pays for something, at the end of the month, the total amount that you make, they take 5% of that. That's how it works. So they don't take 5% every time somebody pays. They just take 5% of the total amount that you make at the end of the month. And you will, they will notify you when they're taking the 5%. So they will send you an email and tell you they've deducted their 5% and they have transferred the rest to your PayPal or your bank account or whatever medium you provide in the back end for them to be able to um, facilitate the payment directly to you. So that's how it works. And you can categorize everything on your website. So what I do is the training templates, job search templates, consult. You can like, it's just really amazing. And I just want you guys to just go check out the platform. You can have your little video blogs and stuff. And, you know, just check out the platform and, um, and see how you can, it can work for your business. It's at no cost to you excepting when you start making some really a lot of money of course when you start making money off of the people they want their cut <laughs> but apart from that you literally can just use the platform as a form of marketing for your business yes michelle go ahead yes my question is in relation to payment gateways what type of payment <laughs> gateways does payhip give you access to apart from paypal so you can do oh um I can't remember, but some of the U.S. ones, but for us in the Caribbean, specifically in Saint Lucia, PayPal. You have to have PayPal. Unless you have a U.S. bank account, you would have to have PayPal. For Can sure. I share something at this point? Go ahead. Um, okay, so for persons who, so Shireen, I would like um you to actually confirm that. If not now, maybe at a later date. And oh, yes, I can. Let me just, um, you know, check mm -hmm. on that for me. But in terms of the U.S. bank, if you have U.S. banking information, um, so if you have a U.S. bank account, you can add that in. But if you do not, you can actually sign up for WISE, guys. WISE is um, an online payment application that you can use on your mobile device, or on your desktop, it's really up to you. And WISE allows you to have a bank account in whatever currency that the person who's paying you um, would be using. I believe up to 50 currencies, I think, you can use. And it allows you to then transfer monies from your WISE account directly to your local bank account. And transfers take less than 24 hours. Um, I've been using that for... Um, a couple of years now so again guys if you have not heard of wise i highly recommend that you check them out and you know try to sign up for your us your um your uk your canadian your euro um your all about your you know all other currencies that you can think of if you want to accept payments online and you don't want to use PayPal, or you want an alternative to PayPal, you can actually use your WISE account information to collect payments. Okay, so um, Michelle, to answer your question, the next option is Stripe. Stripe, okay. So it's strictly yeah, Stripe. PayPal then for us, yeah. Yeah, so it will be strictly PayPal for us. Yeah. Um, do I have time to give However, them one? Uh -huh. However, you can actually add your WISE account to PayPal. Just saying. Yeah. 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 Do I have time to give them one more before I do the unboxing? One more bonus? Should I give you one more bonus Um, before? <laughs> Everybody loves bonuses. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm giving you guys. I let me let me before I let me stop sharing my screen because I need to I need to check something before. So I'm going to give you guys one more bonus before I head into the hat because we're running out of time. Um, so I want to give you one more before I, um, it's now. Huh? But wait, but when we're doing the poll. Hey, hey. Oh, yes. 
Oh, drop the drop the, the oh, pole. <laughs> it is getting her stuff. I'm going to put the poll up on the screen, guys. So again, um, it's just five very simple questions. Just answer it really quickly. And then once you're done, we'll just show up the um the results on the screen. Yes. So can I go ahead while they're um um taking care of the poll? Yeah, sure, no problem. Yes, guys, the poll is on your screen. Five easy questions to answer. Bonus welcome. Okay, so let's do a bonus. Let's do a bonus quickly. So <clears throat> there's something called Google Sites. Um, so I just give you all pay heap for your websites, then here's another free um plug. So there's something called Google Sites. The only thing Google Sites doesn't offer you is the um the e-commerce part of things. But what you can use Google Sites for is to set up your portfolio for your business. So you have an online portfolio that is there. If somebody asks you, well, say, well, send me your portfolio, you can literally just send them this link and your entire business is already set up right here. So this is our online portfolio. We use it, we host it on Google Sites. So anytime we, we send out a proposal and a client asks for our portfolio, we just send this link to them instead of sending them an entire presentation or entire thing with endless pages that they have to go through. We just send them this and it's like a web page. It's a one, uh, I was not a one pager. I was about a four pager, a five pager. But anyways, so this is this allows you, Google Sites allows you to create a, a free website or portfolio or whatever you want to use their thing for. So it helps you integrate everything you're already doing in one place. So we, we integrate everything, our services, our trainings. Well, I don't know why it keeps doing that because we use links. So when we use links, it usually does that for some reason. But anyways, I can inte even integrate my entire website. So from my portfolio, somebody can just see my website feeds right there without even going onto my website. Like without even knowing the, um, the URL for my website, they can view everything on my website through my portfolio. So I have it set up in that way. So if somebody wants to know more about what we offer, our services, they have a little glimpse of our website and they can click in and it takes them to whatever they want to go to on our website. So we have that and you we have our exact location, everything set up. That's the first page, that's the welcome page, that's what they see. So they see about me, about Blue Media Marketing and our website. Then we go to our work, so it shows all of the work that we've done, et cetera, and whatnot. So you can set up yours too, to show different aspects of your business. Right, and our social media results, we have it set up right there so they can see the work that we've done, um, our reviews, what customers are saying about us, etc. Everything is there, the clients we've worked with and whatnot. And it even has information about our nonprofit that we started, and it has information about our press. Now, press is very important for every business. If you have a business, you need to start doing press. It doesn't matter if it's one article a month or something. Find a reason for you to be in the news legally. Yeah. Find a reason for you to be in the news because the more you, you're getting press for your business, the easier it is to search you on Google. And newsflash, if you have this set up and somebody searches you on Google, this will pop up as well. So that makes you searchable. So within this, um, this Google site, we have our press. So every single thing that's been written about Sharon Joseph or Blue Media Marketing, every single interview we've had is right here. So the person who's viewing our portfolio can see every single thing that we've done with our business. And it's, it, it, it is a great thing to always have a portfolio because one, type, one way or the other, at some point in your business, somebody will ask you for your portfolio. Whether if you're going to ask for funding, um, and you engage in an investor, um, you anything that you probably want to do for your business in the future, you will need a portfolio. And Google Sites is a great place to host your portfolio. Or if you have a, a, a website just for show, just you just want to show people different um, different things that you're offering and you don't want to have the e-commerce part of it, you can set it up on Google Sites as well. So this, has been a game changer for me. And I can just go into the back end and edit anything I want in that. If I have new stuff, I can just add it into what I already have. So it's a, it is a great way to, uh, to keep your 
your portfolio updated and to have something online. Let's say you don't have you don't have time to to go into your Google Drive. If somebody asks you for your portfolio on the spot, you don't have time to go into a Google Drive to go and look for the, the document that you, you, you have your portfolio on. It's as simple as having a link and just sending it to them, tell them. Or what I did is I added it to my link tree. So from my Instagram profile, you click on my link tree and you have access to everything. My website, my portfolio, and everything that's going on with my business. So you cannot miss a beat. And what you 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 need to do is make sure that customers always have access to information about you and your business, so they can make an, a decision right off the bat. There's no oh I will send that to you tomorrow, or you'll have to wait. And I, when I get home, I'll send that to you. No 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 no. It's just one click away. When you click, you get access to every single thing, and that's the bonus. That's the the final bonus for tonight because I need to open my package. I need to open my package at this point. Before you open, Shireen, we have four people who have yet to complete the poll. It's showing 17 out of 21 completed. Come on, guys. We need to close the poll. So the four persons who have not yet filled it in, please answer the questions so that we can close off the poll. We have four people who have not yet filled in the poll, so please do that very quickly for us. All right. Thank you, guys. And don't forget, please stay to the end. We have two things to share with you. That is a link to Shireen's upcoming webinar. And of course, a survey that we have about um, tonight's event that can maybe get you access to the training that Shireen is offering. So stay until the end. All right, guys. Thanks. Michelle, I, I lose my, my, the poll. I don't know. I can't, I know how to find it. Just click on polls at the bottom of the screen. Keep, click on polls. It will pop back up. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's time to do the unboxing because you know, I've been waiting days for me to open my package and it's time for that. So um, basically, I'm going to be opening a package of some um, tangible, some hardware tools that you can use for your business. Some really handy stuff. They're very um, cost effective. They're very, um, how you call that? I don't use the word cheap. We don't use the word cheap over here. Oh, um, sharing okay. first so that you can be center stage so everybody can see clearly when you're opening yes all right there we go everybody can, can see, see me clearly. yay it's almost unboxing yes. <laughs> it's time for the unboxing so i have my package right here i'm just going to rip it open because i i am really and truly um like like we say, until we turn my panic here, we don't have time for that. So let's just get it done. Okay. So I have about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five pieces of um, five digital tools that I want to share with you guys. Those two. Oh, it's showing it, it, the, the, the thing keeps popping up for me as well. Okay, let's start with this. Um, so everybody can see me, um, can see what I have in my hand. Everybody can see, right? Just click the, the, the poll um, icon at the bottom of the page. Go to more, I think. Yeah, go to more and you'll see polls. Click on it, you'll get the poll will pop back up. The poll is closed now, guys. It's closed now. Okay, so this right here, I don't know if you guys can see, this is called a card reader. It's a portable card reader. It has two sides. One is a USB side, and the other one, of course, I use Type-C because I'm an Android user, but if you're an iPhone user, you can buy the one that's specific for iPhone. So one side is USB, the other side is um, Type-C. If I turn to this side, there are a few slots. One allows you to put one of the big memory cards from your camera. One slot allows you to put your micro SD from your phone. So what that, that device does is it allows you to transfer information on the go. So all you do is you plug it into your phone, type C, 
you add your um your your uh, memory card and all it does is your phone recognizes it and you transfer your files from any memory card onto your phone within minutes this is what this does as simple as that and I had one of these before and it got lost on a, on a job. Um, and this was a lifesaver for me. So what I did is once I, I shot content for my, my, my clients, I would just transfer everything from my camera uh, memory card to my phone and I can edit the, the stuff while I'm on the go. So for persons who shoot content and they, um, they want to have access to the content right away, this is, something you definitely need to have as part of your um, your digital tools okay so let me just not to worry it. guys the names of all the, the gadgets that she's sharing will be sent to you via email because yes. we have registration details okay we'll be yes. sending to you afterwards yeah okay second device so this one is another um another data transfer portable data transfer tool as well this one only has type c so this one only goes to your, your phone. The other one, you could plug it to a computer as well because it has the USB, the USB port. But this one is only Type-C. So I can only transfer information to my cell phone. So I add my, um, you can add a, a, a um, how do you call that? A thumb drive. So this one allows you to add a thumb drive, the big memory card for your, comp your, your, um, your cameras and your mini, um, your, me, your micro SD card. So it's a free in one. And you just plug it and you transfer your information right here and there. So for example, if somebody's with you and they say, oh, I have some photos on my thumb drive, or I have a document on my firm drive that I want to send to you. You have this device, you pull it out, they just put plug in their, um, their uh, how you call that? I keep forgetting the name of the thing because I don't use thumb drives anymore. The thumb drive, you just plug in your thumb drive and you just transfer the information to your, your phone one time. So it's instant. So these are great for me, especially for my content creation because I like transferring stuff to my phone so I can view them on site um, and make adjustments when I need to make adjustments, especially if we have clients that want stuff, like they want to shoot the content and they want the content the same day, although that's not allowed, but we do make exceptions for certain people. But yeah, so that that has been that is a game changer as well. Okay. So this one is a data cable set. Let me show you guys what it does. So imagine you 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 you're somewhere and your phone dies, and your friend only has, let's say you have an iPhone and your friend only has an Android charger. Or let's say something happens and you have to remove your SIM card in your phone but you don't have the little pin for the SIM card and stuff and you have to struggle to open your phone. So this device, this basically is a key. I hope you guys can see. It comes with a, a head for, a, um, for iPhone, type C for Android. It comes with, um, how you call that? Oh, I keep forgetting the name of this. You, um, the head for your, oh my God, I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> my bad, guys, my bad. I keep forgetting the name. Um, USB ports, yes. It comes with your head for your USB port. So for example, if you have a cable and you want to insert your USB port, you want to, somebody has a computer, you want to transfer data, you basically can just use this cable and include your USB head. So it's one cable with multiple um heads so all you have to do is just put this in so it, it's two type c but you can put separate heads on either side of it so you have your usb port then you can switch it to um well it's already is type type c you can switch it to iphone so if you want to charge your iphone switch the head be charging iphone and if you want it to be usb charge you can just add the USB to the other end. So now you have a USB for your iPhone. If you want to do like the old, the old time, um, yes, I can't remember the name right now, right? We have a charger for that. You just insert it 
right here. So you have another charger. So you can have a USB-C iPhone charger all in one. And mm -hmm. also, if you want to remove your SIM card, it comes with this little device to remove your SIM card in your phone. Also, you can store your micro SD cards in this kit as well. So you have options. It's a portable thing that you can move around with. It is very, very um, useful for persons who have different types of devices and they require a, um, a charger for every single device or they want to be able to um, transfer files on the go and they don't want to carry a whole bunch of stuff. It is very, very small, comes in this very small case. This can fit in your pocket. It can fit in anything. So it is very, very useful. Okay. So let's just set this aside. I feel like I'm missing something. Yes, the bag still has something. It doesn't? Oh, next device. So this right here is a portable charger, a portable charger for your cell phone, right? So basically what you do, my battery is low, you plug, and it charges your battery, it charges your phone. And it's very small, so you don't have to carry these huge power banks all over the place. I don't even need to say more. Charges your phone. Now, I know you might ask for how long. I haven't tested it out. I'm doing the unboxing with all of you right now. So I will be giving you an update. You have to go follow my page, Blue Media Marketing 758 on Instagram. I will be giving an update for that. But so far, I'm loving it because I'm somebody, my battery does die on me a lot because I use my phone a lot for a lot of stuff. And this is a game changer for me. And I don't like bulky items. I like small stuff that I can just put in my pocket, in my keys. So it does come with a ring. It came with a ring. I, I don't know. It's somewhere there um, that you can add to your keys. So anytime your phone dies, you can literally just charge your phone on the go. Okay. So now my phone is charging. My phone does not need charge right now. So and it, it just pop in and pop out. So I bought a USB-C, of course, because I have Android, but you can buy it with the, and the Apple um, thing as well if you have an iPhone. Okay. And the final thing, I have a mini vlogging kit. Now, um, I wouldn't say vlogging, a video kit. It's a video kit. So for persons who always complain that they do not have the right to, to shoot their own content, here's a mini kit for you. This. It comes with every basic thing that you need to shoot a video. It comes with your lighting. The only disadvantage of this lighting that I've seen is it comes with jacks. And we know most cell phones right now do not come with headphone jacks. But I will give you guys an alternative to that. So even if you buy this kit, you, that the light may not be um, something that you'd be able to use because you probably don't have a, head, a headphone jack. So I'll give you an alternative in a while. But it comes with your mic. So no, not the not the um sorry, not the lighter. You need an alternative for you need an alternative for the mic. The mic is the one that uses the jack, my bad. So yes, yeah, so we know we don't use most cell phones right now do not have headphone jacks. Um so I will give you guys an alternative in a while for the mic. Okay, and if you've been following my page, you've probably seen the video by now. But for those who don't follow me. I'm going to show give you an alternative for the mic. So it comes with a mic. It comes with um, a phone holder. And it also comes with a mini tripod. The mini tripod is simple. You, you... Let me see if I can set it up quickly so you can see how it looks. My phone is a heavy phone, so I usually don't set up my phone on a lot of things. Um, so let me just try to do it. I thought it was. So if you guys have any question in the meantime, <laughs> if you guys have any question in the meantime, feel free to ask. I don't know why this is screwed on so tightly. Okay, now we, we're doing something. Feel free to ask your questions in the meantime while I set this up quickly for you to see how it looks. And 
and um, and it's quite easy to set up. You can set this up literally in minutes. Add your phone. And there you have it, a mini key. I don't know if you guys can see. You have an entire video key set up within minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I have a daycare. What software would you recommend for me? Okay, so it all depends on what you would like to get done for your business. Because there are different softwares for different purposes. So if you, you'd have to be sp specific as to what exactly you're looking to do with the software or you're looking to do or automate. And then I could probably give you recommendations. So I'm I, we're almost to the end of the presentation. I have... Uh, um, so these are all of the tools that I have for you right now. If you'd like to purchase any of these tools, feel free to reach out to me um, and you will get all the information you need. Um, so here are two more tools that I want to show you guys. Um, I don't physically have them right now. Um, so I'm going to show you videos on how they, uh, um, how they work and stuff like that. Okay. Let me see if that link will work. So the link just disappeared. As I'm about to, okay. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Small business owners, here's the plug. This $10 mic from Timu is going to change your content audio game. Here's how. First thing you're going to say is that that not good, but let me tell you this small device has been a game changer for all of my content. First of all, everything is instant with this device. It charges with any regular USB-C cable and when you press the back button and the green light comes on, it is ready to go. Everything is instant. No Bluetooth, just plug it into your phone, your device and it's ready to go. You could purchase USB-C or iPhone version. And let me tell you guys, noise cancellation is joke. So you definitely need to get this mini device for to upgrade your content game. The first one, and here's a small business must have, the mini content box. The perfect tool for any business looking to shoot products. It comes with five different backgrounds, adjustable lighting, and a mini tripod. So. The mic is a Bluetooth mic. Basically, it is one of the best devices I've bought. Into, well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, I said one of the best. Yeah. So one of the best devices I've bought in 2023. It has changed so much for me with my audio because I do struggle a lot with audio um, when we're out in the field shooting content. And this cancels out noise like never before. This mini device, I and the thing is the charge, the charge lasts a very long time. I have never charged this thing from the time I bought it. And I have shot so many videos with it. It lasts a long time. I could literally just put it in my pocket and go out with it and shoot my videos. I don't need Bluetooth. I can just plug it into my phone, hook it up on my shirt, and start recording. That's how it works. Now with the mini content box, um, it comes with May, um, five different backgrounds that you can use to shoot your content. It has light lighting built in, so you do not need a ring light. All you need is your phone or your camera to start shooting and your props. Of course, the backgrounds are different colors, so you can add your own props to it to enhance the background. Um, it charges with a USB type C cable. It comes with the cable and it comes with a mini tripod. The mini tripod, don't bother, get your own tripod because it does not even hold a, a normal size cell phone. It, the cell phone is too heavy for it. So get your own tripod. Um, but everything else looks amazing. You can shoot any type of product in the, in the box. The box is portable, so you can dismount it and travel with it. It comes with a travel bag. So you can go anywhere and set up your cell by the beach, in the forest, at the rain, um, at the waterfall. Wherever you are, you can um, set this up and shoot your content. Only one disadvantage. If you're going to be depending on the lighting, you'll be able to plug the lighting because you have to plug the lighting for you to get light. But you can have a portable light. 
one more thing. So I'm going to disrupt my lighting just to show you all about um this little portable light form I have. So this one is charging. It it um it charges with a USB. And it stays charged without being plugged. So it stays charged for uh a long time. A long time. I barely have to charge it. So you can set it up on any piece of equipment that you have, your tripod. You can set it up on the top of a camera. It has different settings. It changes the color of the um, of the lighting. You can adjust the lighting how you want. This has been great for me with my content creation. If you realize now my face is back because my, my light is gone. But this has been really great for me with my lighting. I do not own a ring light. I've never owned a ring light in my life. All of my content that I shoot and um, when I do my lives, this is the, the device that I use. This small device is what I use for my lighting. I don't own a ring light. I don't, I, I, <clears throat> I've never owned a ring light in my life. And I have several other pieces of, of, of lighting equipment that I have that I move around with. But this one has been one of the best ones I have simply because it holds the charge for a very long period of time. I go on shoots with it, I do several things with it, and it stays charged for a very long time. Um, so yeah, so these are all of the, the um, these are just some, I would not say all, these are just some of the things that I use in my business to help me um, to be productive, to help with my content, to just really, um, make my business like better to better operate better but like we did the unboxing already and stuff um so these are all so i really hope that these tools that i shared with you guys will um very valuable to you um i really hope that you can use these tools and get access to these tools um to make your business better to automate your services um you know to to get your content um to improve your content for your business and all of that um, so um, we are hosting a webinar. We'll be hosting it in March 2024. Um, so um, the link will be provided. Michelle is going to drop the link, I think, in the chat. She's going to um, drop the link in the chat for that. So if you sign up today, so the webinar basically is an Instagram um, marketing webinar. So you're going to learn how to create compelling Instagram um, content for your business. We call them scroll stoppers. You ever realize while you're on Instagram, you, you're scrolling and then there's just this one thing that catches your attention and you stop scrolling and you go directly to that and you watch it and then you go to the person's profile and then by the time you check yourself, you're watching all the person's business. You're all up in the, the bottom of the person page. So the, the webinar basically is um, created to help you create, I said created, to help you create. <laughs> it was formulated to help you create scroll stopping content for your business. So if you sign up today, you get a free Bloom Media Marketing scroll stopping videos ebook. So the scroll stopping videos guide ebook will give you step by step information on how you can create videos, compelling videos for your business, videos that are that are appealing to your target audience. How it will show you how to formulate these videos, the do's and don'ts when you're shooting your videos and all of that. So if you sign up, you get this for free, but you only get this if you sign up today, okay? Um, but the webinar will be will be happening in uh, March 2024. Um, so you can follow us on, on Instagram at Blue Media Marketing 758. Um, for more details on that, or to get an uh, an exact date, etc. Um, but it is happening, and we do have these ebooks available on our website, payhip.com slash Blue Media Marketing. You can get access to um, Blue Media Marketing's um, Instagram for Business ebook, um, Instagram advertising ebook, how to set up your Google profiles. We have an ebook for that. So if you're thinking of setting up setting up your Google sites for your portfolio. You should definitely set up your Google profile while you're at it. This makes you more searchable on Google. It helps customers to leave reviews for you and basically helps with um, getting leads 
um, that converted to actual paying customers. We know how that works because we know we use TripAdvisor and all of these things. That's basically a Google, a Google profile that they use to get people to come on to book tours and do all of these things. So you can create one for your business as well, where people can go there to book you, to buy a, a product. To, to, they can call you directly from the Google search. They can send you an email directly from the Google search. So make sure you create your profile on Google so you can give your business a better chance of reaching more people. And you know the majority is always on Google because we're always searching stuff. We're always looking for new stuff on Google. So we do have an ebook for that. Um, we also have an advanced um, Instagram for business ebook as well. Um, the, the Instagram for business, both of our Instagram for business ebooks are on Amazon. Uh, so you can buy them off of Amazon as well. Um, you can just search for my name. I have a store on Amazon. Um, I'm an author on Amazon, actually. Um, so you can purchase the ebooks off of there. Or you can just go to my website, payheap.com. The only ebook that is not available, okay. Yeah, it's available on pay. All of them are available on pay. So you can go up on payheap and just purchase them from there. It's up to you. You can send us an email. You can call me. I'm on WhatsApp. I'm everywhere. So you can find me. It's not difficult to find me. You can send me a message. You can call me. Or you can follow us on Instagram at Blue Media Marketing 758. We're more active on Instagram as opposed to Facebook. Instagram is our hub. Um, so you'll get every piece of information um, about us and what we do on Instagram. Also, I will be updating you guys with videos about all of the products that I, I just unboxed. Um, so you will see in-depth, um, I will create videos with in-depth information about how to use them and stuff and how you can find them. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining this session. I hope it was very, very useful to all of you. And it was my pleasure to share all of my information and all of my knowledge with you guys. <clears throat> so all right. Okay, so here we are. Do we have any questions, any comments from anyone? Because we are actually on the dot 8 p.m. This is the time we said we would have ended and we are about to close. So <laughs> if you have no further questions, we are going to end this session. Any questions, any comments, anybody? The chat. <laughs> I saw some people say something in the chat. Uh, somebody said someone just charged me five hundred dollars just to set up this. I want one. <laughs> Check the chat, Michelle. <laughs> there are a lot of messages in the chat. I cannot keep up with the messages. Let me try to. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, because we have to end, we are going to, and this is where we challenge you guys. This follow up is key. So we have a recording of all of your questions in the chat. And Shireen is going to do her best to answer your questions um, and, of course, respond to them. Now, the recording, yes, this event is being recorded. And the attendees will get, as a matter of fact, I think we're going to upload it to YouTube so business can watch the replay, okay? So, but only those who are here tonight will benefit from what Shireen spoke of. So that's, the, that's a plus, guys. Only those of you who are here will benefit from that. But the recording will be posted on YouTube to watch the replay. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, um, you know what? I feel like I want to give away one of the items that I just unboxed. Really? Which one Wait. I get? I, <laughs> I, oh, 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 I can give away the, the mic, the, um, the video, the vlogging set. I can give away that. Not with my phone, though. You don't get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but I can give away the vlogging set because I have like multiple I have like so many of these I usually just buy them to try them out so I can recommend them to my small business community um, because we, a lot of a lot of them um, struggle with content creation and they're always looking for different things for them to make their content better so usually I just buy these things just to give reviews and, and um, give them um, options for content creation um, yeah, I, I kind of like that idea. And, you know, in the spirit of Global Entrepreneurship Week, we're celebrating entrepreneurs and the great stuff that we do. So, guys, you got a lot of stuff. You got a lot of information from Shireen tonight. 
So let's give them a challenge. And then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll give away something, as you said. Yeah, so challenge one. Like, follow, share. Like, follow, share. What do you think I'm referring to? Blue Media Marketing, baby. Shireen, put your handles in the, in the chat. Follow. Anybody who is not yet following Blue Media Marketing, right, on a social media, do that. If you're, already, if you're already following, that's fine. That's just one of the stuff. We just want to make sure that we have you there on file. So the persons who are here tonight who have not yet followed, please follow. Please like. Yeah? Also, we want to know that you have shared what you learned today. You know, share your experience. Hey, I attended digital, you know, tools for startups. We know with Shireen. Talk about what you learned because we're going to be looking out for you tag blue media marketing so Sharon can say hey you gave her a tag you understand so if we see that right then Sharon will be like okay this one tagged okay that one tagged that one shared that one shared that one comment and then she will put all of those names together in a little bitty you know bowl and then draw a winner okay so you must be a follower of blue media marketing yeah you must share this experience of tonight on your social media and tag blue media marketing yeah easy right easy easy that's easy guys shireen take over yeah if you're already following me because i know marika said that's not fair because she's already following if you're a long time follower of blue media marketing do not worry do not worry because i have something really special coming for my long time followers I want to give away a nice little package, like a content package for Christmas. But you have to keep, up the, you just have to be on the page, okay? So you will get access to everything that's happening. You just have to follow the page. Because I have really good plans for my day one. I have plans for you guys. So just keep following, don't worry. The new, the new people will get an, a, this nice little set, but you're going to get something really great as well. Okay, so guys, you heard, right? Even though you are following, doesn't mean that you're excluded. The key thing is for you to share your experience this evening. Share what you learn and tag Blue Media Marketing when you are sharing. That's the key thing we want you to do because we want persons to know about tonight. All right? But don't you worry. The information about the gadgets that Shireen spoke about and, of course, the tools that she shared will be shared with you in your email. So that's all you have to do. Look up for your email for the information and you'll get the details. And the questions that you would have posted there, those questions as well will be answered. But do not forget to complete the survey that will show once the meeting ends, guys. Please complete the survey. And the link to the webinar that Shireen spoke of, the link to the webinar is there, guys. I'm going to post it again. The link to the webinar is there. Please ensure that you sign up for this webinar. Here it is again. This is the link to the webinar. Please sign up. And of course, this is how you can reach Shireen. Her number is right there. And of course, you have her Instagram handle. I'm posting it again. It's right there. Guys, you have everything that you need to win this too. What are they winning again, Shireen? Let them know what they're winning. The this. video making kit. So it the comes if I'm buying a, a, a gimbal, not a gimbal, a tripod, a phone holder, and a light. Comes if everything you need for you to create your video. Basically. All right. Sally Ann, I'm seeing here the survey link is not there. What survey link? Oh, no. It will appear after the meeting ends, Sally Ann. After the meeting ends, it will appear. Not to worry. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's it for now and for tonight guys thank you so 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 much for joining us we do have other events coming up that will be hosted we have an entire week of events of you know for gew that we're hosting because we are celebrating entrepreneurs this week shireen is the first entrepreneur that we're celebrating so we have another session coming up and it's called alumni entrepreneur panel and that's happening tomorrow at 2 p.m., 2 A-S-T, 2 p.m. A-S-T. It's happening online, okay? And we'll be streaming live on YouTube. So again, alumni entrepreneur panel. 
And this is a panel or roundtable discussion where regional alumni entrepreneurs are going to share their experiences in starting and growing a business, especially in the agri sector. So we have speakers from Jamaica, we have from St. Lucia, we have from Bahamas, and we have from Barbados. So please tune in tomorrow to get some idea as to what our events are. Please check out our Facebook page for details of our events to see what they are and make sure you attend, guys. Thank you again so much for joining tonight. Shereen, any final words before we close? Is it the same <laughs> Zoom link? Someone is asking if it's the same link. No, they have a separate link for these events. If you go to the Facebook page, you will see all the events there. Yeah. Yes, so that's it for me. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And make sure you support your fellow entrepreneurs for the rest of the week. I will be attending some of the events, especially the showcase on Friday. I definitely will be there. And I will be at the... um. There is an event, How to Start Up Your Business in 10 Days, um, Michelle, I think. Oh, okay. yes. How to Start Up a Business in 10 Days. I will be Public Relations Management. That's right. Yes, I will be there at this event as well. So make sure you attend the event, learn as much as possible, and support one another. See you on Blue Media Marketing stage. Let me give one of you, uh, make one of you happy um, for this month <laughs> have a good evening everybody and thank you so much say good night everybody bye everybody